Hi, good evening, everyone. How are you? Hi, Maria, Renee, and Donna. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, I have been playing around with embroidery threads. And I got to tell you, um, I have to give a shout out to a young lady. And I, I should have looked up her name. She posted something on our um, Happy Hour Adventures Facebook group. And she had asked about a box of embroidery threads that she was looking at. It was like 260 sprules of thread for 150 bucks. And she was like, did anybody ever buy that? And they're, they're called nanny, nanny threads. So I said, no, I have not tried that, but I, I like to explore new things all the time. I always like to look at, you know, different types of brands of thread, different types of weights of thread and all that kind of stuff. I love to explore. So I wanted to show you all the threads that I have purchased and tried and tell you guys about them. And I also, in this video, I linked everything below so that if you guys are interested, you can go and, and get, get the threads also. These are not expensive. And if you are starting out in embroidering, um, one of these sets, getting one of these sets is really the best thing because you get a variety of colors. So you can start to, you know, practice learning how to embroider and use your machine and everything. So you should always, you know, need a starting set. So when I first started to embroider using my SC1900, I bought a, um, a set and it was 63 um, different colors. And it started with the letter E. I think it's E, E Brex, E, E Brolic, something like that. But it's very similar to SimThread. Um, and they were pretty good. They were pretty, pretty good. But, you know, as you start to embroider, you're going to start to run out of the color. and You're going to want replacements and all that kind of stuff. So that's when I started to look at other brands and all that kind of stuff. So um, I know people are logging in. So I don't want to go too much in detail right now because I got some really good information to share with you guys today. So time for that pen and paper so you can write down mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff because I think this is probably going to be one of my most informative videos yet. So um, I see people are starting to really get in here. Um, hey, Miss Solomon. Hey, Casey. Hey. Hey, D, D bro. Shout out. Love that new logo. Yes. And shout out to um, Winston. Winston created my logo. Beautiful. He is so good. I mean, this guy can really, really draw really, really well. And he is starting to sell his um, his art on shirts. So I am like so super proud of him. He's already starting to get his small little sales. So, you know, he emails me, he goes, oh, I got to sell here, sell there. But I know he's going to blow up. So I'm really, really excited for him. And he's the one that designed my logo and stuff. So, and I got to reach out to him because I wanted to know how much my logo costs so I could pay him because I told him nobody works for free. That's including him, you know, and stuff. So I got to make sure I cut him a check, you know. <laughs> so, um, hey, Sarah. Hey, Ozzy. Oh, wow. Tracy, Francine. Hey, Miss Magic. Barbara, Bernadette, Robin, Carol. I always like saying hi to all you guys, you know, because, I mean, I feel like we kind of know each other because we're we're always interacting in the Facebook group. And I know a lot of you guys also reach out to me. Um, hey, Irene, and you guys reach out to me also through email, um, asking for advice and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, um, I know it's, we're already like 8.04, so I am going to get into it. Okay, guys, here we go. This is all the research that I have done on embroidery thread. Now, on embroidery thread, and I wrote it all down, there are usually three types that people usually use um, as embroidery thread. They use the polyester, they use the, the ran, ran, Ryan or Ryan, y'all know my Spanglish, you know what I mean. So, and also the metallic, okay? Now, the polyester thread is usually the most popular. It's, it's economical, it's something that, 
you know, a lot of industries use, a lot of people use it for garments and all that kind of stuff. So the other two is rayon and metallic. Now I don't really use rayon that much. And you know what? I could be fitted because I probably have a rayon in here and don't even know it and stuff. But I think I may. I think these are rayon. Are they? All right. I think I may have a rayon. Okay. Um, uh, rayons are usually softer than polyester. Okay. Um, they're not really recommended too much for the um, embroidery because they say that the rayon thread usually breaks more than the polyester thread. Then we also have the metallic. Metallic thread is very, very shiny. It has like a real sparkle and stuff like that. The only issue with the metallic thread, uh, metallic thread for embroidery is that it can be very difficult to do embroidery with. Um, a lot of times um, what I've read is what people say is make sure that you use metallic needles for the machine. They do exist. If you go to a, a specialty sewing shop and you tell them that you need a metallic needle for your, your machine, they'll know what you're talking about. So um, always get th those needles because from, from what I read is those needles, they is something special about the eye of the needle that will help prevent the metallic thread from breaking. The other thing with the metallic uh, thread is that when you're sewing with that, make sure that you slow down the, the speed of the machine. I do have a video out there on how to do that. And that is highly recommended because the metallic, the metallic thread will break at very high speeds. So, you know, what I would do personally um, is I would probably slow it down to maybe like 300 stitches per minute. The, um, the Brother SC1900, stitches about 650 stitches per minute. So I would probably start at the midpoint, which is at 300, see how it goes. If it goes pretty well, then maybe up it another 50 or so. Or if you see that at the 300, it's, it's still breaking, you would probably have to slow it more. But I will say this, you know, thinking about it, um, you know, my big machine, the multi-needle does a thousand stitches per minute. The SC1900 does the 650 per minute. And I think both of these are pretty fast. But the thing that, that concerns me with really slowing down the speed of a machine is that some of these designs have over 10,000 stitches. And some of them that are very, um, very dense and have a lot of detail, I've had, had designs that have 50,000 stitches. So, you know, I could only imagine... You know, if one design takes me an hour to make and then I am slowing that speed of the machine down, that hour can easily turn into two hours or two and a half, depending on how many um, changes of, of color that you have to do. So that's the only thing that kind of like has me like metallic thread. Mm, I don't know. I mean, I understand a lot of people like it because they, they consider it very shiny and stuff like that. Um, but I will say this, this is the other thing that sometimes every time I say I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to, I'm going to pick up a metallic thread just to see how it goes. Um, when I pick it up and I look at the thread and then I compare it to these regular threads that I get, I'm like, I'm paying this much for how much thread, you know? <laughs> so it, it looks like you get, you don't get a lot for your for your money you know like it's more expensive because i don't i don't feel that it's it's as much as you get with a polyester but then again the polyester thread is really the economical choice and everybody knows i'm cheap you know i don't like spending my money so <laughs> you know what happens is i pick up the metallic thread then i look at the price and then i see how thin it is compared to this well, I'm going to be honest, that's when it goes back on the shelf. So, I mean, that's just me. You know, I mean, I know some of you guys have done the metallic thread, but I have to pick that sucker up on sale because I'm going to pay full price for those threads because those can get, can get kind of pricey. And then what goes through my mind, too, is if it's expensive for one sprue and then you have a design that has six different colors, that means you have to buy six different ones. So, you know, all that goes ding, ding, ding in my brain, like, oh boy, you know, I could just see 
you know, I don't know. I just get this this thing where I imagine my my pocketbooks all open and the money's just flying out. So I just like, you know, I have looked at it. I have picked it up, but I haven't bought it. I will one day when I get a coupon. Okay, so anyway, so those are the three type of threads um, that I found for embroidery. Now, there was a question on... Um, on the uh, Facebook group where someone had put down that they had just bought their machine. They were really excited about it and they wanted to test out some designs and everything. And they wanted to do sewing thread instead of embroidery. Now I quickly responded and I said, no, 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 don't do that. And I don't recommend that. And I'm going to tell you why embroidery thread is very, very thin. This is sewing thread. Okay. Sewing thread, when you look at sewing thread and you compare it to embroidery thread, one of the things that you notice right away is the way it feels, okay, um, and also the size of the actual thread, okay? Now, sewing thread is thicker, and it also releases more lint. Now, you have to remember when you are embroidering, your machine is embroidering at very high speeds. The SC1900, like I said before, is at 650 uh, stitches per minute. So that means this, this sewing thread is going to be sewing for 650 uh, stitches per minute. That's very, very high. It's going to release a lot of lint, and it's not very good for your machine. The other thing that I want to mention is embroidery design sometimes can be very dense. Which means, and it you know it can have a lot of details to it. So that the the sewing thread is not going to do justice to the design because it's thicker and it's not going to lay right. And you know you're gonna, it's just not gonna be you know it's not good. And um, so what I what I told what I what I commented was don't do it um, because first of all you're gonna release a lot of lint in your machine. Design may not come out good. And also, uh, you don't want to mess up your attention disc or anything else in the machine because you're using sewing thread um, instead of embroidery thread. Believe me, when you get embroidery thread, you're going to get them in a big box like this. You're going to end up with so much thread. thread. Um, don't worry about it. I mean, because I know that some people, because I was the same way. I was the same way when I bought it. I was like, oh my God, I don't want to waste my blue thread. I don't want to waste all this pretty thread. Waste it. Don't worry about it. You can always buy another sprue. So don't worry about it. Okay. So, you know, I just want to put that out there because I don't want you guys to like mess up your machines and all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, you guys are kind of like, oh, this sucks, you know? So I just wanted to um, give you guys that pointer. Don't do it. I mean, I know it's tempting and all that kind of stuff, but don't do it. I don't recommend it. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> so now that we've um, talked about the different types of threads, which um, the polyester, the rayon and metallic, just so that you guys know, I'm old, I'm a polyester girl. Okay. Because I don't like spending more money than I should. And the way I look at it is when I look at how I embroider and how the polyester thread works, it seems to be sufficient for me. I don't really need, um, the shiny um, glitter or whatever. But um, I did um, do some research and I found something that's very, very interesting about embroidery thread, the weight of embroidery thread. Now, usually you are, there are two weights, 60 and 40. I always buy the 40, okay? Um, now, one thing that I learned about 60 weight embroidery thread, Let's say you have a design that has is very, very dense and has a lot, a lot of detail. The 60 weight embroidery thread is best. Also, if you have are embroidering small designs, they recommend that you use a 60 weight thread. And I'm going to tell you why. The um, I mean, I'm, do I have that right? Yes, the 60 weight. The reason why is 60 weight is thinner. It's thinner than the 40 weight, okay? And it's also, um, a lot of companies, what they do is when they do like logos on shirts and stuff like that, and I know a couple of you guys have done, have, have posted some pictures of the logos that you guys do on the shirts and everything. 
if you're gonna do like little logos and everything, which I've done and I've done it on the 40, and I now that I know this, I think I'm gonna go and I'm gonna buy some of my color thread in the 60 weight also. Um, it would look a lot better. It'll look a lot cleaner, you know? So um, if you're doing, um, you know, designs that have like uh, lettering is very, very small, very fine, um, 60 weight is the way to go. Now, if you use a the, the, the embroidery thread at a 60 weight, do not use a 7511 size needle. That is when you go and you use the um, 65 nine size needle. And the reason why I say that, oh, I moved my needles. Anyway, um, they're back there. The reason why I say that is the 65, um, that the 65 slash nine size needle has the eye that is really for a thinner thread. Okay, so if you're gonna use embroidery thread that is the weight of 60, okay, so that you can do these little fine details or small logos and small designs, then use the 65 um, slash nine size needle, okay, because the eye would work better um, for that, okay? Is it, and from what I, what I read is that needle, um, it will, the puncture that it does on the fabric will be a lot smaller. Okay, so you're not going to notice it too much as if a uh, 7511, you know, you can still use 7511, but, you know, the everything that I read, a lot of companies, they recommend 60 weight and a 65 um, slash nine uh, size needle. Okay, so um, that's the weight that I learned about. Okay, um, also, I wanted to talk to you guys about... Uh, Choosing your thread. And by the way, drinking water, okay? I know you guys have to be thinking she does these embroidery happy hours and she barely has drinks, really. Well, I did in the beginning, but I don't know. I just eh, just haven't been into, I've been into more water. Um, let, me, um, let me show you some of the kits that I have purchased through Amazon. I've gotten all these, all three of these through Amazon. So I just wanted to show you guys the type of threads that I use and what I think of them. Okay. Um, this is sim thread. Okay. Um, this is a 63. And what I kind of liked about this is what I liked was it had, it came with a case, a plastic case, which I was kind of like, oh, okay. Cause as you can see, my wall is kind of running out of space for putting more threads up okay so i figured this is a good place for me to keep um spare colors right and um this what i also liked about this is that these have 1100 yards of thread okay so to me i'm like 1100 uh, yards of thread this will last me a long time okay so and these also match the same color um, number as the um, e Etrix, Etrix ones. So, um, you know, it it worked pretty good. So I like these, these are okay. I do sometimes get a little bit of breakage on these, but a lot of times it's, it's because I screwed up. It's not due to the threat, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but this, these were pretty, pretty cool. And I really do like these um, and this, I ordered this set again, but this time I did not order it with, with this. And I think the reason why I picked up these is not just the storage box. Also, they were on sale. Okay. So if you go on Amazon and you sometimes, you know, look, just look constantly, they'll, they'll put these threads on sale. And when they put them on sale, that's when I usually snag them, you know, because I'm kind of like, oh, okay, they're on sale, you know, because you know me, I don't want to spend, you know, whatever. So uh, this is the slim threads again. Okay. You can also get them in a box like this. Um, and this was the reason why I got these were really to do replacements. So these also, if I remember correctly, these are 1100. Yes. 1100. Okay. These are 1100, um, yards of, um, of thread. So I kind of have a whole bunch of slim threads. Now, 
Um, usually when I started, I bought the small, you know, I, I told you guys, I just bought a kit of the 63, right? And I didn't know too much about the sizes of the, um, you know, the, the length of the yard. Okay. So I just went and said, oh, I'll just get the small ones, you know? So anyway, when you're starting off, you really don't need to get like the big combs. You don't really need to go and get the, the embroidery, um, sprules that are 1100, stuff like that. And you're just starting, out, just starting out, just, just get, get a, a simple kit with at least, I, I would recommend at least 63 colors. Okay. So that way, when you are starting out and you're embroidering you you can start practicing and all that kind of stuff and then as time moves on and you need to re, re you know re replace any colors that are that are you know missing then i would say that's when you can start expanding you know what i'm saying because i started with the 63 and then i was like that that worked fine i mean it lasted me for for a very long time actually i mean i still have colors of that set that's on that wall over there so you know i mean it's, it doesn't like you're not gonna like run out in one day that's why when when somebody was like oh i'll use sewing thread use the embroidery thread don't mess up your machine and at the same time trust me the the thread the thread will last now there was a young lady that had asked about these threads okay and she said, does anybody ever use this thread? Now, it was $150, okay? And it was 260 colors, okay? So I was kind of like, oh. I said, well, then you know what? Let me buy it. Let me try it out and, and see what I think. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. When I first got it and I opened it, okay? I'm going to open it now. And I'll put it on this sewing chair right here so you guys can see. Now, these things came with four trays of thread. I mean, these things are gorgeous colors. And I, I was kind of like, wow, this is nice, right? Okay. But then when I picked it up, right, I looked, I started, you know how when you, you're, you're looking at something straight down, right? So I looked at it and then I said, oh, it doesn't look like a lot of thread. And then I was like, oh, well, how, how many yards are in the, the, in the sprue, right? So they're 550. But the problem that I had, and, it, and this has nothing to do with them. They're, they're good, okay? I'm just talking about me. The thing is, I got so used to looking at these threads that have 1,100 that as soon as I picked this up, I said, oh, did I get jipped? You know, did they just jip me or something? You know, because I'm like, should this be thicker? Shouldn't there be more thread? And I'm like looking around and stuff. And I said, God, these look like small threads. Like, like I can only like sew one project on it and then I'll be out of thread, you know? So I kind of like felt like I was kind of robbed, you know, because I was kind of like, oh man, this is only like um, 500 uh, yards per spool. And I was kind of like, Ugh. but you know, so that kind of like was like, huh. But then when I went back to my first, first set, that was 500 and something. And then I picked up one of the spools that I didn't even open yet from that set. And then I did a comparison with this and it's the same. It's really the same. So I was like, okay, it's not the, it's me. Okay. So, so to me, you know, at first I was like, oh, this is, this is uh, very small. I'm going to return it. It's not whatever, you know, and I was going through my little, you know, moment. And then, um. When I really set it at the end, you know, done, I'm keeping this set because I'm going to be honest, this thing has so many colors on there. I mean, it's like there is not one color that, I mean, so many different blues, so many different reds, so many different purples, browns. Um, I don't even think I'll be able to, I, I don't even think I will let the customers know that there are so many greens and reds and all that kind of stuff. Because, you know, when you do customization a lot for a lot of people, I mean, it can get to the point where it's like they change their mind so many times that sometimes at the end you're like, could you pick something already? You know? So, so it's like, you know, um, but I mean, it's nice to know that, that all these 
colors are out here. So, and I only pulled out two trays. There's two more trays in here too. So I have to tell you, to me, um, if you guys can can uh, you know can 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 swing the 150, um, I'm gonna be honest. I think I would get this set instead of the 63. Honestly, because of the enormous amount of colors that you get with this set. Um, I mean, it's, to me, it's worth it. Because if I remember correctly, when I purchased the 63 set, I think I paid something about, it was close to 50 bucks, something like that. And I only got 63 colors, right? So if you really think about it, this is giving you 260 colors um, for 150. So let's see, 66, eh, maybe it's about the same, you know, I don't know, but I, don't, I just think it's worth it. I just, I do. I mean, I was just like, oh, now the only problem though that I, that I was thinking is, okay, you get 200 and two, yeah, 260 colors, where the hell are you gonna hang? 260 threads of spool. So, okay, so <laughs> that I haven't figured out yet. So that means I'm going to have to get a lot of thread racks and i got to figure out where I'm going to hang them. So that way, you know, I can see the threads. So as I'm doing embroidery and all that kind of stuff, I can see what colors I have available because having this in the box isn't really going to do much because I don't want it to then like it just, I you forget about it. You know, you forget about the colors. And at the same time, you don't really get like a good view of what all you have, you know, especially when it's in here, because the way they pack these, you know, they got some that are looking up and then some that are looking down. So it, 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 it can get kind of hard, you know. So um, I got to figure out what am I going to do? How am I going to put these on the wall or something? I, I got to come up with something. So, you know, um. Thank you so much to the young lady that had posted the question on the um, in happy embroidery hour. I mean, my my response to your question, has anybody tried it? Does anybody think it's worth it? Yeah, I do. I mean, I think it is, you know, because, I mean, you get a lot. To me, you get a lot for your money in this. So I'm, I, I am pretty content with it. Okay. Now. These are the, the sets that I have purchased. Now, I have also gone off and I bought individual threads, okay? Um, one, another thread that you'll sometimes see out there is called Silky, and I knew I was doing uh, rayon, Silky Rayon, okay? Now, I have bought these off of Amazon, and, so, and these I usually buy individually. And um, if memory serves correctly, I believe... Ooh, how much? These are 1,500 yards of uh, thread, okay? These threads, I like them too. The Silky brand, the Silky Rayon, I mean, they, they work fine. Um, a lot of these I buy because um, sometimes I do, I, I bought these neutral colors because I like to use these colors for people, you know, because sometimes I, I do, um, you know, um, embroidery of ladies' faces and all that kind of stuff and everything. And, you know, we all have different shades, you know. So I have the different the different browns, you know, from, from light all the way to dark. So um, the Silky, um, I really do like them. I even have it in red as well. Um, I really do like these products. Um, and, you know, I have to admit, you know, I mean, you know, the 1500, I... I have ran out of these, of these types of, of sprues, but I have not ran out of my big combs yet and um, the 1500s. Uh, no, I did. The red. I ran out of red during Christmas time because, you know, red is hot, hot color. So, um, yeah, but th these are really good. Sil silky rayon, like these. I usually get them from Amazon also. Just type up silky. And, you know, you can see the different colors that they offer and stuff like that. Um, there is another one also. When I had purchased my multi-needle machine, one of the things that the lady at the store, she gave me um, 20, you know, she told me, go in the back. And I have a uh, floor, I think it's floor, Florida or Florida. Let me see if I, 
have it here. There you go. Florida, whatever. Man, I'm really bad. My English is bad, but you guys understand what I mean. So anyway, um, she said, go in the back and you can get 20, 20 threads, anything you want. So I remember when she had said that, when, when, um, she told me before I was going to pick up my machine. When she said, get 20 threads, I immediately went to my little rack that I have over there. And I was thinking, okay, what colors am I getting low on? Okay, and those are the ones that I went and I grabbed the 20 on the back. Now, I have to admit, these threads are pretty, pretty, pretty good. Now, I don't know really how much they really cost because I got them for free. I got 20 for free and I haven't gone back to get any more because I haven't run out of any of the colors yet. So, um, but I do like these. These don't break on the machine or anything. They seem like they're really, really good. And these are polyester threads also. These are not rayon, um, but really good thread. And so, so I've used these also. Now, um, the other one, and the reason why I'm going to say it's my favorite is because I can actually get these in the big combs, okay? And that's the other thing that I wanted to tell you guys. If you run out of a color in these small little kits and whatever, and you see that it's a color that you use a lot, my recommendation to people is always, go for the big comb. And a lot of times people say, well, I don't want to use a big comb because first of all, it doesn't fit in the machine. Don't worry about that, okay? There, there's ways you can use a big comb of thread on that machine, okay? So I like to go to allstitch.com and I always get the Madeira thread. Now this is the polyester and um, a big comb is usually like this, so you can see I've used this color a lot. This is the gold color. And I a lot of people, I don't know why, they love the gold color on the dinner napkins, okay? So um, as you can see, I'm almost out of this. I could probably do a couple of more of these things, but uh, dinner napkins, but I do have to order another one of this one. But, um, you know, I love, love the big combs. And I love the big combs because I know that once I have a big comb, I'm set for life. Now. I did go a little bit overboard when I was buying these big combs because if you look in the back, you see I have about like five of the whites and then I have like six of the blacks. But the thing is, um, the black and the white thread are threads that you're going to use a lot, okay? And, and it's true, you know, and, and I bought those when I had the order of the 36 shirts that I had to make because I don't know why it went through my mind, but I just thought that those were not enough threads. Boy, little did I know. Okay, so anyway, but um, Madeira, very, very good. Um, I buy the 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 um, the polyester, and then also these do run about. I think if I remember correctly, I think they're like eight ninety five for one. But to me, it's worth it because this will last very, very long time. I mean, you'll probably be embroidering a whole year and still have thread left over. So to me, this is really, really worth it, okay? Um, and one thing, too, that I wanted to um, share with you guys, sometimes when I am buying things like thread and all that kind of stuff and everything, I get these things in the mail, and these are called thread nets. Now, let me tell you something. At first, I was like, what the heck is this? What do you do with it and everything? So I thought, OK, that these were to use like as thread huggers because I like using the thread huggers and I use the ones that I the plastic ones like these that you get from Amazon. I just happen to really, really like these because it's like very easy to take off. And then, you know, all I have to do is just wrap it around and then I just go wah, I'm done, done. And then I just like put it away. Right. So I really like these plastic thread hug thread huggers. OK, well. I thought this was like a thread hugger. So I was kind of like, okay, well, maybe I can cut these in half and I can use them for the little ones. While I was doing some little research and stuff, folks do use them as thread huggers, but people also use these for when they're sewing. And what, they, what it does is it helps your thread to stay intact so that way you don't have any tangling or anything like that. It doesn't get tangled on your machine. And I saw a lady and she said, the way you put these things on is you go from the bottom up, okay? Because as you are sewing, the thread, is, it comes out from the top, right? So she said, you just take this 
and you're supposed to put it from the bottom on the top and then you know you have your thread that's out here and then you know you're just supposed to like put it in like this and stuff and then it's supposed to help so that way your thread doesn't get tangled and stuff like that and it helps prevent um breakage so i was kind of like oh i didn't know that i had all these things and i was collecting them i didn't throw them out i was collecting them but for the longest i was like what the heck is all this stuff you know but i was like okay i guess i'll figure it out so i guess i kind of did so i was kind of like oh this is neat so i'm going to um put these on all my big combs and i'm going to be you know using them for my my big machine and stuff now for those of you that um, ha don't have the big machine, but you are interested in using the big combs. Um, I've said it in, in, in videos before, and you guys probably knew, and you, you probably don't know. They have something called a, a single needle thread holder. Now, these are really, really good, okay? What I like about these is you sit it right next to your machine, okay? You sit it all the way to the right of your machine, and then you just take your, your thread, you pop it in, and then you take it and then you just thread it through here and then you thread the rest of uh, you thread it to the rest of the machine. This goes up and down also. OK, so it is just the height. All right. So these are really, really good. Very inexpensive. I mean, I think at the time I purchased this, I was looking at it today. I see this little one screwed. I got to screw this up. I, I was looking at it today, and um, I believe the price for something like this was like $15.99. I think I paid more. I think I paid about like $23, $24, something like that. But um, little kind of neat, okay? So, you know, don't think that because you have an SC1900 and and you you have that little space to put the little sprue in that you're kind of like stuck with small sprues. That's not the case, okay? You can get big sprue, uh, big sprues of thread and stuff like that and use it with your machine. You're not limited at that at all. So, you know, just something for you to just think about, you know, if, you know, you see there's a particular color, like maybe, um, like, like I have mentioned, I use white and black a lot. So maybe you can get in the big comb, you can get the black and the white. Or if, if you know, if you um, do a lot of Christmas stuff and everything, you use a lot of red or a lot of blue or whatever, you can invest in one of these big combs. And then next thing you know, you got it for a very, very long time. And you can use it on, on your single needle threader and you're fine. Okay. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because that was pretty, pretty big. Okay. And let me see. Okay. Oh, now we're talking about thread. Okay. Uh, a lot of you guys ask about the bobbins. Okay. Now I wanted to show you guys what I do. Now I, I always use the pre want pre-wound or pre-winded they're already they're already set up okay <laughs> they're already set up pre-wound bobbins okay now i want to show you the difference of when you buy them when they're pre-wounded when and when i wind the bobbin myself okay now sometimes people are like oh i don't want to spend the money why why buy it already done okay now, in a box, I get like 144 pieces, okay? Um, whew, I bought these a while ago. I think I paid like 24, 25 bucks, something like that, okay? And um, as you can see, I still got plenty of bobbins in here, okay? And when I want to lift one of them up and I want to show you guys, if you look at it very, very closely, you're going to see that it is very, very tight, if you really notice, it's like, I don't know, it's like, it looks like a perfect, perfect bobbin. I mean, you know, it's, it's perfect. It, it's just, and the thing is, these last longer, because if you look at it, the way that, that they wrap it around, it's nice and tight. You don't see anything loose or anything like that. So it's like, I can put a bobbin in my machine. It does last, I, I, it lasts a long time. Never have any problems with any of these bobbins or anything like that. Now, these things, uh, when I am done with a bobbin, usually, um, you know, you can throw the throw the plastic case out. Now, one of the things, a little tip, don't throw them out. Take a little baggie or something like that and save them. And I'm going to tell you why. 
Because sometimes when you are embroidering a project, like let's say a towel, somebody wants a beach towel or something like that. They want their name on it. Well, you know, in the towel, sometimes you look at you look at the towel from the front and also the back, right? So you sometimes you don't want white bobbin um, thread to show in the back. Sometimes you want the the bottom of the of the design to be the same color as the top. So right there in those situations is when I say that's when you take the um, little plastic bobbin that came with it, and then you can wind the bobbin yourself with the same color thread that you're gonna use on the top. But, but I wanna show you how mine come out, okay? Now I'm gonna tell you something, I ain't no professional uh, bobbin threader and stuff like that. Now, you're probably gonna <laughs> crack up when you see some of these, cause you're gonna be like, God damn, Jeanette, what the hell? All right, let me show you. Now this one is all jacked up, okay? Look at this one. See, if you notice right here, look at the way it is. See, it's very, very loose. And you can see right here, see the thread? Very, very, very loose. It is nowhere similar, and see how, how it is? It's nowhere similar to what you get when you buy pre-wine. I don't even come close, okay? Now, sometimes I can get lucky, okay? And I say sometimes, um, like this one. This one I got lucky, and it looks a little tightly worn, but, it is really not the same as for when they do it, okay? Now, I do know that you can go and you can invest in a separate machine. They call them bobbin winders, but, um, and I really don't know. I know at one time I was looking at them, but then I was thinking to myself, okay, Jeanette, because, you know, this is the thing, too. With, with this kind of hobby, okay? I mean, stuff can creep up on you, okay? Because they got a gadget for everything, okay? It's like, oh, you need a bottle, you can buy this, buy that, you know? Next thing you know, you got all this stuff, okay? So as you see, I got stuff, okay? So then I told myself, do I really, really, really need it? How often am I going to be, you know, winding my own bobbins, okay? And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't do it that much, all right? So... And these are little uh, pictures for the bobbins. I bought these off of Amazon too. You can get these off, you know, uh, but I only bought a couple because like, as, as I said, I don't have that much. But as you can see, um, I'm not very good at winding bobbins. So I would probably be a good candidate to go and buy a bobbin machine, but I'm not going to for the simple fact that a lot of times when I do my embroidery, I really don't need the bottom thread to match the top thread, you know? Um, and I really don't do beach towels and stuff like that to sell to other people. So, you know, when I do something like that, usually I do it for myself or I'm doing it as a gift for a friend. And I'm sure they're, they don't, they're good with, um, with the other side having white bob and thread. I mean, you know, so it's, I just never really, you know, it, and they can get kind of messy and stuff, you know? Um, there have been times, even look at this one. This one's like, a, this one's a complete mess. I did not do good with this one. This one got all knotted up and everything. And as you can see, I got stuff all over the place. If you can see it, it's, it's just a mess. So, you know, bobbin's not my thing, okay? so. <laughs> So um, I always buy the pre-winded ones, okay? Because I feel like that one is really um, the best. I get the best bang for my buck on that, okay? So um, let me see. Oh, yeah, okay. And we, uh, well, I got 15 minutes. Okay, so I am going to also, I want to make sure that I covered everything that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, okay, color conversion charts. Let's say that I have Madeira bread, uh, I was gonna say bread, Madeira thread, okay? And this is running out. And I cannot get another Madeira, but I have to get another brand. They, if you were to go out there and you do a Google and you do color embroidery thread, color conversion chart, what those charts will do is you can find find one from Madeira and Sim Threads and all and all these other um, brands, 
And what they do is they tell you red number 900, I mean 800, red 800 for Synthread is, I don't know, for it, Madeira, the same color, would be number 1500. That's what it does. So it tells you kind of like what, what color in one brand matches the color of another brand. Okay. Now, the only thing is I have that been pretty successful in using those. However, though, sometimes things can get a little funky because a certain color in one brand does not really sometimes look exactly, exactly like the same color in another brand. So um, I found that out with a color brown. Um, I needed a dark brown that was from Synthread. And then when I bought the Madeira, it was it was a dark brown, but it, it was not a brown that matched. It was it was it was kind of like reddish. So I was kind of like, okay, I can't use that. So it's not like I could finish off that thread and then the middle of the design pop in the Madeira thread. Because, of course, it's not the same color. It, you know, you could easily tell that it was a different type of brown. So, you know, that's the only thing that I say. You know, I mean, it's like, um, which is why I, I, I kind of I like getting the big combs because I know this is going to last a very long time. And before I ever start a project, if I see I am running low in a particular color and I don't have um, the exact the exact color, in a new sprue that I can just finish it off and then use another sprue of that color, then what I'll do is I'll just replace that color with a whole other different color. So that's how I usually do it and stuff. So, you know, something for you guys to think about. So, whew, I mean, I talked a lot, I did kind of fast and stuff. I hope I didn't confuse you guys <laughs> either, but I really, I really wanted to show you the 260 sprues that I got of thread because I'm like, I just feel like for 260 colors for 150, I thought that was really, really a good deal. I was kind of like, that's a lot of thread for that amount of money. And if you are just starting out with embroidery and, um, or you just want to have extra colors, I was, I was kind of like, oh, so when she posted that out there and she said, anybody, I mean, I never heard of it. Um, of nanny thread, but I figured I'll give it a shot. Now, the only thing also that I noticed is I was thinking to myself, replacement threads, okay? Because that is the one thing that I always seem to have a problem with, okay? If you want to switch brands and stuff like that. Will, I mean, not even switch brands. If, if you want, if you need, run out of that color, you need to replace it. The only one that I see is very, very consistent, consistent that you can always find a replacement thread is the Madeira. I can always go into uh, allstitch.com and I can always say, oh, I ran out of this. This is the number and I get the exact one. Sim threads has even been kind of iffy at times because sometimes when I look at what was in what I purchased in that plastic case, and then what I got in the, the square box, there was the color number eight, 843, which is supposed to be like a beige, right? Well, the beige in the box did not match the beige that was in the, the plastic storage. So it, it looked like the one in the plastic storage was like a little yellower than the plain beige that I needed. So when I was doing the, ooh, uh, Mello scared me. He was scratching the door. So when I was doing my um, my kitchen towels for um, La Cocina de Abuela, you know, the vase, I usually use beige. But when I started running low on the beige and I said, OK, I have to use now the new beige, which had like a little bit of gold in it. But to be honest, it ended up looking like, like nicer. So it ended up being a little, you know, real blessing in disguise, you know. So, you know, it's just that's the only thing is that, you know. And I'm always looking to see also, um, you know, let's say in, in this, oh, it's, this is only like 550 yards, okay? Well, let's say I like this color a lot. And, you know, well, I want to replace it, but I don't want to replace it with another 550 yards. Can I get the same color at 1,100 yards? Or even better, can I get the same color in a big comb? 
Sometimes I find that also difficult as well. I was not able to find that with the nanny thread. That was the only kind of downside that I found. The sin threads, can't find them in the large combs either. The largest um, ones that I could find on the sin thread so far are these, which are 1,100 yards of thread, okay? Which is not bad, but I'm going to be honest with you. Um, you keep buying 1,100, 1,100, 1,100. I would just prefer to just buy a big one like this. But um, it is what it is, you know? Um, now, um, I went to allstitch.com, and they did have a set of, you could buy a whole set of the Madeira uh, thread. But that sucker was $1,500 for a set of Madeira thread. Now, I don't remember if they were the large combs or they were the $1,500 or whatever. But to me, when I saw that price tag, I said, ooh, I could have bought me another SC1900 for $1,500. So I said, no, I will buy their threads one at a time for the colors that I know I really, really need. So um, I ended up going that route, you know, because I was kind of like $1,500 for a set of thread. I was like, mm. I mean, I'm sure it's, it's good thread. I love the thread and all that kind of stuff. But to me, $1,500 to spend in one pot with thread for just thread, I, I was just like, mm, no, I I could easily just take that money and I could buy me another SC1900. And then I have two machines, two single needles running side by side and have money left over. And who knows? Let me see, 15, because I bought a thousand. So I could I could have bought a machine and then buy several sets by by of this. Probably bought two two sets of this. So I could have had a whole bunch of thread and another machine. So it, it just to me wasn't um I it, 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 the price just I I just thought that was outrageous. So I was just like, no. The, it's just not going to work. So I'm going to go over to the um, chat room and see if you guys have any questions and stuff. And I really, really hope that you guys found all this information about embroidery thread pretty, um, you know, useful and stuff. I actually got into this. I mean, especially when I got this, I was just like, whoa. But I, like I said, yeah, at first I was kind of shocked because I thought I got jit because I was kind of like, man, the sprues looks real small. They, did they send me samples or something like that? But it's because I've been buying the big threads. So my eyes got used to seeing spools, you know? So I was just like, ah, so I'm like, okay. But it's, it's, it's all good, you know, and stuff. So I am going to go down the line Hi guys, Trisha, see Tracy, Carol, Miss Miles, hey Irene, Tracy. Um, let me see. Um, ooh, go down. Got New York in the house. I'm a New Yorkian. <laughs> Born and raised in New York City, the Bajo. That's why I grew up in the Bajo and stuff. And then, then my parents bought a house in Queens and all that kind of stuff. Then I ended up in, in here. So um, in Virginia, so after college and stuff. So um, let me see going. Okay. Do all designs indicate how many stitches it takes to complete the design? Yes, Kathy. Usually when you buy a design, um, they will, in the description, um, tell you the stitch count in each of the designs. So, yes, you do usually get that information and some some of them even go a little further and they give you a chart of the different colors that are there but to me i don't really focus too much on the colors because remember the colors are all up to you you can take a design and you can change up the colors and stuff like that they they recommend using white you can use whatever color you want so you know um but yes the stitch count for the designs are always on the file and you can also when you load the design to your um, brother SC1900, it's also going to show you on the screen the, sti the stitch count of the design as well. So that's another way you can find out how many stitches are, are on the design and stuff. So hope that helped. Um, let's see. Oh, did I miss pre one bobbins? Um, I'm trying. Hello, world. Hey. Hey, Iris. Hey, Lucky Lucy. Hey, Chelsea. 
Um, okay, let me see. I purchased the Amazon two hundred fifty ninety nine dollars. Oh, Barbara, then you got it really. Oh, Barbara got it for ninety nine bucks. Man, she, she was just a good deal. <laughs> I always come to the last minute. I tell you, boy. But at least I get five percent cash back because I use my Amazon card. So. <laughs> Oh, Lucky Lucy has um mega kit, 260 spools. All right, guys. So see this. Um, if you look in the chat mop in the chat box, you'll see um other people are putting out there um other um kits that they purchased and stuff like that. But you know, I mean, just also so that you you guys know, um in this video, um Finally got affiliated with um with Amazon and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in any of the stuff that I talk about, or in, I've been trying to put all of the links of the stuff that I've been using um over in the video below. So if you look in the comments, I mean not the comment section, but the description, you'll see all of the stuff in there and stuff. Um, just ordered a box right now. I read you're gonna really like it. Um. If you have older machines, try the bobbin winder on them for your newer machines. Sometimes they work great. Ah, you see, I don't have an older machine. That's the only machine I got. So it's like, uh, so I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> um, oh, Sonia. Great idea of throwing away the empty bobbins. You can throw them out. I mean, but what I would do is just save a handful. I mean, you know, because next thing you know, you're going to end up with like hundreds of bobbins. So I would just say, just, just say 20. 20 is good. I do want my own bobbins on my machine. Good for you, Kathy. I always, I, I can never do it. Check the cost factor and I check the price of the bobbin thread and the amount of yards it was worth it to buy the pre one. Yep, Maria, you're right. I mean, to me, it was just worth it. It really was. And the thing is, I could never... I can never um, just wind my bobbin the way these are. And and I just, so I just said, you know what, I'm going to buy. And, you know, this box lasts a long time because I bought this box months ago. And as you can see, I have, I still have so many left. I mean, you know, I mean, it's 144. So, you know, you probably could use it for like a whole year. So it's not bad, you know. Um, Hey, Ozzy, how you doing? Thanks for the lead on where to buy the blanks. Got some, Bella. Oh, I didn't know that Michael sell the Bella canvas. Yes. So don't want to spend $99 per shirt. Never find them at a lower price. Okay, Ozzy, another thing also. Um, if, if, man, and I only got like three minutes, but to save more money on that, if you are a military or you're a teacher, Michaels do offer like, uh, I think it's like 15% discount on items. Another thing that I do also when I go shop at Michael's, um, I have a um, video out there on how to get the Cricut machine at a lower price. If you look at that video and you're going to see the way I bought that Cricut machine, you can buy your other stuff at Michael's by buying it cheaper too. The way I do it is that I go through Ebates and then through Ebates, I go to um, a, a website called race.com and you can buy discounted gift cards, okay, to Michael's. So in other words, you could get like a $25 gift card and you only pay like 21 bucks. So that's like an extra free $4, right? So then what I do is I take that gift card and then I go to Michael's and then my husband, he's retired military. So, you know, I get a military discount. So I get 15% off on the shirt. Plus, I use the discounted gift card that I just bought off of Raise.com. And because I bought Raise.com through Ebates, I get cash back on Ebates. Because, so it's, it's kind of like a whole thing, you know. But I'm telling you, ain't going to save a buck. I'm telling you, if you check out that video that I did, I explain it. I go through the whole steps from start to finish for a, not just Ozzy, anybody out there. I do the whole thing from start to finish. I put the camera on the computer and I show you exactly the steps that I do and then how I calculate the cost savings and everything. So, you know, and you can't, it's not just for Michael's, you know, you can do this for when you're going out to eat, when you're, 
um, buying your sewing machines, buying thread, going to Joann's. Um, and so it's, it's a really good, good place to save because, I mean, you know, guys, don't throw your money out. You know, I'm serious. You know, like, I mean, you guys work really, really hard for your money. One thing I tell my son, it's very hard to make money, very easy to spend it. So <laughs> the last thing you want to do is spend it so easily because it's hard to earn, very easy to lose. So, um, you know, great way to um, save a buck. So, Ozzy, I am so glad, you know, that um, you were able to get your shirts and stuff. Um, let me see if anyone's interested. So Brothers are selling fabric on YouTube starting at, oh, I have to check that out. Thanks, Renee. Appreciate that. Um, I guess someone's um, selling fabric. Five dollars a yard. That's pretty. That's a pretty good price and stuff. But you got to make sure it's good quality and stuff. I usually go to Joann's and I like to get the um, premium fabrics and stuff. Um, you know, because um, I I don't know if I guys told you. Sometimes I went to. Uh, Walmart, they had these um, for a yard for like five dollars. Then I, I thought I got a big deal um, when I, you know, a big, big deal and everything came home and the fabric felt like paper. And I was like, cheap, cheap fabric. But now nah, what are you going to do? You know, lesson learned. Right. And so, hey, Francis lives in Virginia, too. Hey, I've been living in Virginia for a long time since 95. I've been here and stuff. So um, let's see. You should. Make an Amazon store and you get commission. Hey, Kelsey. You know, I'm trying to figure out how to do that. I don't know how to do it yet. I am affiliated now with Amazon. So um, now it's like I can create the links so I can get like a, you know, a little commission and stuff like that. And I think so. I mean, I'll see if I can find out more info on that. Yeah, Kelsey. Yeah, but yeah. It's okay. I mean, I, I just like doing this for fun and I like helping people and stuff like that. And at the same time, I feel like, you know, I'm giving back to you guys and it's, and you guys give to me also because I learn a lot from everyone that always tunes in. And also, um, you know, I, I have fun doing this. I, I really do. I think this is really, really fun. It's something that I want to do full time at, when I retire um, and stuff. Um, I think we are good. I think, hey, Robin. Hey, Juanita. Hey, Walk by Faith. And I think you guys are good. You guys don't have any questions and stuff like that. So, okay, cool. Well, it is past 9 o'clock. It is 9.02. I am so sorry, guys. I know I talked fast, but you guys can always do replay and all that kind of stuff. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You can email me at unique designs for you at AOL.com. Also, um, if you um, post over on the Embroidery Happy Hour, I can um, answer any questions. I usually try to always, every day, go to the to the uh, Facebook group and look to see what's going on and see if there's anything I can do to help and stuff. So um, I really hope that you guys like this, um, this video. I was pretty excited about it because, you know, I mean, I saw all this thread and stuff. So as you can see it now, I, I have no reason to buy any more thread <laughs> for a while. So, um, you know, I just was pretty excited about, you know, doing all this research and all that kind of stuff and everything. I did also post two new videos to the channel as well on how I use in Brilliance to merge, um, merge, you know, merge little files, manipulate files and create new ones. And I also put another video on how to change colors on fonts with you writing someone else's name or something like that on it. So, you know, you guys might want to check those out and stuff. So as always, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I love you guys a lot and stuff. And please have fun. Um, be safe out there and stuff. Subscribe to my channel. If, if you're not subscribed, I try to do happy hour every Friday at eight o'clock. So as always guys, happy sewing and happy embroidery. Be careful out there. Be safe. Bye.